Hey guys, I've uh, been doing a little bit of squirrel hunting here recently and um, unfortunately my girlfriend doesn't really want to eat the squirrels with me so uh, she is at work today. I get to make a little bit here tonight and uh, I've watched a few YouTube videos on how other people make squirrel to see if I can get some, some new recipes and things like that. I found some good ones that I do want to try but I've never seen anybody that makes it quite like me so I'm going to share with you guys how I make my squirrel. Um, it's pretty simple. A lot of people complain about it being real tough and things like that. Uh, I like to fry mine, kind of like a chicken wing. I call them squirrel wings. But with that, you know, if they're going in the deep fryer, or you're, you're frying them on the oven, uh, you don't really get to cook them long enough to, to make them more tender. So I kind of simmer mine for quite a while, 45 minutes to an hour, and then I fry them. If you like buffalo wings, I think this would be a great recipe for you. Again, it's real simple. I've got five ingredients. you got butter. Uh, I use Lori's season salt, milk. Um, Frank's wing sauce and then I like to put a little bit of garlic powder on mine. Try to stay away from uh, as much salt as possible. You want it real salty um, so I just use a garlic powder but uh, I'm going to show you what I do here. Uh, basically first thing I'm going to use is half stick of butter and then a little bit of uh, Frank's wing sauce. I'm going to get that simmering on the oven and uh, then we'll come back put the wings in there simmer them up for a little bit and uh, I'll be back. Put them in here, like I said, just let it simmer a little bit. It's actually just a tad too high. We will put it down a little bit, and that's right there is on five. So, just pop them in here. And like I said, we'll let those go for probably about 45 minutes. And it's, uh, <laughs> it's 11 o'clock at night right now, so we'll see you closer to midnight. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, make up my batter. Uh, basically all I do for that is uh, a little bit of flour, uh, some Lori's season salt, and some garlic powder. Super simple. Basically, uh, don't really measure anything. Just kinda throw it in there. You can't really go wrong with it. I mean, I wouldn't put a ton in there, but uh, you'll see probably about a good quarter cup of flour. Um, I mean, I'm only making one scroll here, so I've got four small pieces and then a back strap. So, a little bit more than that. And you're just wanting to use enough to be able to coat your squirrel pretty well. You know, so obviously the more you've got, the more you want to use. But uh, a little bit of flour there, um, seasoned salt, just kind of to taste. I like it, so a little bit more in there, and then um, I do use garlic powder instead of garlic salt because we're already using the seasoned salt, so a little bit of garlic powder there, and we are good to go. Give that a little bit of a mix. We got the fork. The uh, squirrel will already have kind of a coating on it. You know, a lot of people will dip in milk or uh, dip in egg and then go into their flour. But uh, because we are simmering it in the hot sauce, that will actually work as our uh, sticking agent or whatever you might want to call it. And all we got to do is go into the flour mixture here and then into the fryer. All right, guys, we are back. It's been right at 45 minutes. And look at that. Show you what. That is going to be some good stuff. We'll take it off the heat here. We'll get it over. We'll get it breaded. And we will get her deep fried. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to toss these in the flour mixture. Um, get them coated real well. Take them back out. Let them sit for uh, one to two minutes. Kind of let that flour work in there. Makes them a little bit more crispy. And then we're going to shoot them over in the deep fryer. I've got the deep fryer set at 375 degrees. Um, typically it's gonna be about a 
three to four minutes to cook them. They're already cooked. So basically we're just trying to get that breading to kind of a golden brown. But uh, I'll get them in the flour, we'll get them tossed up. We'll get them out of the flour, we'll get them in the fryer. finished product it's nice brown and crispy squirrel wings now I just want you guys to see everybody says how tough squirrel is but with the way that we've just made it and simmered it I want you to see how easy this falls off the bone look at that that is not tough whatsoever that is some good squirrel. Let's try it. Here we go. Now that is good. And I'll tell you what, for anybody who may have not tried squirrel before, or may be a little bit weary of eating squirrel, you cook some of this up. Just don't even tell them what it is. I promise. They're going to love it. That is some good squirrel. I should have made three or four of them. I only made one. You can dip it in some buffalo sauce if you want or something like that because really cooking it in the buffalo sauce really just kind of seasoned it. It takes all the heat away. These are not spicy at all. It's just more for the flavoring. So if you want to Toss them in some buffalo sauce after you're done, you know, or, or dip them in your favorite buffalo sauce, barbecue sauce, regular hot sauce. Basically, these are just like a chicken wing, a fried chicken wing. So you can toss them in whatever you like. You like the Asian zing, you like the, you know, the garlic sauce, really anything you like. But they are so tender, so, so moist. They are just, they're so good. Again. These things just fall right off the bone, right onto your shirt. So good. Look at, look at this. Just right apart. All right. Well, I'm going to sign out because I got to eat. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm really trying to get my channel going, so if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, in the future, look out for more videos like this. I'm really trying to get my channel going, so I'm going to be doing this as much as possible. If you have anything that you'd like to say, like uh, any ways you would do it different, or any recipes that, that you've learned over the years, I'd really like to hear them. Because I know not only are there YouTube videos on other people that have recipes, there's a lot of people that have recipes that don't make videos. But, uh, like I said, this is just kind of my way of doing it. If you try it, let me know that you tried it. Let other people know. Um, let me know how you like it, because this is the best way that I've found. But definitely, definitely, um, you know, if you know somebody who uh, isn't really into squirrel, you don't want to make a big stew, you know, or have to worry about making gravy and things like that. I mean, I'm going to bring these to the next football party. So, again, that's all for me. I'm going to enjoy my squirrel. i got to get out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. <music>